This movie will demonstrate the new publishing functionality we introduced in our 2015.1 release. Uh, publishing makes it really easy to publish to help systems you build with DocumentX or help Studio to a web server or to a local network path. Um, a range of publishing methods are supported. You can publish to an Azure website, a website running on IIS, that's Microsoft Internet Information Services, or a website that supports uploading via FTP. You can also publish to a local network path. So for this demonstration I'll start with a new project based on the conceptual documentation sample. Just so I've got some content that I can actually go ahead and publish. Uh, publishing can be used with any project you create with DocumentX or Help Studio. And we configure publishing in the build profile editor. So I'm going to go into the default build profile here in our new project and switch to the publishing page. And the first publishing target I'm going to demonstrate is an Azure website. This is actually made really simple by support in Azure for downloading publishing information in the file that we can then directly import into our publishing settings here. So I have a web page open in the Azure management portal and from here by expanding this ellipsis on the toolbar I can see an option for getting my publishing profile for this particular website. And when I click on that, my browser starts a download operation for that file. So once I have the downloaded Publish Settings file, I can click the New Toolbar button and then choose the Import Publish Settings file option on the New Publishing Target dialog that appears. And then I'll point to my downloaded Publish Settings file. So our Publishing Targets now contains two entries, both for Azure, um, one uses a web deploy deployment method and the other one uses FTP. So you can use either of these publishing targets. I'm going to choose to use the web deploy option because it wraps up the content in a zip and reduces to a minimum the amount of bandwidth and time we'll need to deploy. But you can choose to use FTP if you prefer. So all of the publishing settings have been automatically Im imported from that publish settings file and the browser help files have been ticked as the items I actually want to publish. So for this build profile I'm building both the CHM file and browser help um, but I'm choosing just to publish in this instance the browser help files. I could also publish the CHM file if I wished to the website as well as the browser help. So now I have a publishing target to find on this build profile I'll see additional options when I go to build. So if I click the build ribbon button I can see below my full build profile I can now see this publishing target option. So ticking the publishing profile here will automatically publish as part of the build process and there is an option back in our publishing settings if I wanted to enable that publishing target by default each time I build. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly build just that build profile. And as soon as the build completes the publishing process launches and in this instance we're publishing that content directly to and is your website. So once the publishing process is complete, a link to the published content is added to the build results so I can quickly open and test the published content. But I can also go back any time after that publishing operation is complete and use the last published drop down from the ribbon to open that content for viewing and testing. Just a convenience feature so you can easily get to that content you've just published. So there I've published as part of the build process, but I may decide I want to split up the build and publishing process so I can validate that the output I'm generating is as I expect it to be before I go ahead and publish it. And I can do that by simply building without including the publishing operation. And then after the build completes and I'm happy that the content's ready to publish, I can use the publish button on the uh, ribbon here to execute the publish operation. So you can choose either to publish as part of the build process or at some point after the build completes. As a note for Help Studio users, you can also use publishing targets in booklet profiles where you want to publish the PDF to a website or a network location. So that demonstrates the publishing workflow in a nutshell. I'll now add a few additional publishing targets to illustrate how you can configure publishing for IS websites, an FTP site and a network location. So back in the build profile editor, I'll add an additional publishing target and this time I'm going to choose IAS server. To deploy to an IAS website you will need to know the site or IP address of the IAS web deployment agent for the site 
and the login to use for deployment and the site name. Your IS administrator should be able to provide you with the information that you need. So for this demonstration I'm deploying to a local server at a particular IP address but in your scenario this would probably be a website name. So the target URL field tells Document Excel Help Studio where exactly this content is going to be available once it's published so that it can give you that link to view the content once it's deployed. So just go ahead and fill in these additional fields and I'm going to be deploying to a subdirectory of that site deploy that matches the location of the target URL at the top here. I'm going to go back quickly into publishing and test the publishing to that IS website. And once again I'll just use the convenient link in the publishing results to just check that my content has been deployed successfully to that target website. So I'm going to go back into my build profile and add the next publishing target kind which is an FTP site. And so for this demonstration I'm using a GoDaddy website FTP server and I'm going to type in the target address of my website and once again I'm just going to use a subdirectory to contain my help so I'm going to put that on the end here. So for GoDaddy the um, FTP Location by default is the same as your web domain, so the server name is uh, my web domain. I'm going to leave the port blank, that will use the default FTP port, and I'm going to put in the FTP credentials that GoDaddy have given me to execute my upload. GoDaddy use, uh, for FTP upload, they use a specific subdirectory to put your web content in, so in this case it's HTTP docs. Um, and after that I've appended my custom directory name that I'm putting my content into. Now for your particular web host or your website that you're dealing with, look at your administration FTP upload instructions and that should tell you which directory you should be uploading into. So once again I'll go back to the publish page and publish directly to that FTP site. Now first time around, particularly for FTP, this may take a couple of minutes it's uploading the files using um, 10 different uh, connections but still FTP is a relatively slow upload method um, for your content. So to save some time I skipped ahead to the end of that deployment process it took about 45 seconds to complete. So once again I'll return to the build profile and to the publishing targets list here and I'm going to add our final publishing target kind and that's to a file system directory. So I'm just going to publish to a local network path here and again I'm using just a IP address but in your situation you would probably use a server name rather than an IP address. And once again I go back to the publish command and choose file system directory. And there we go, my content has now been published to that local directory. And you can use um, publishing to a local network location, perhaps if you're publishing a PDF to a public location on your network but used by your local users, or perhaps publishing to a configuration management location so that help files can be picked up for inclusion in a build. So now that my initial content has been published, by default only the changed files need to be published when I go to publish at later date. So to demonstrate this I'll just go into the default topic in this help system and add a new paragraph just to force this particular bit of content to be changed and, and then I'll rebuild the content and publish to all four of the targets. As you can see this speeds up publishing significantly. Um, you can go back and disable this option for individual publishing targets if you should wish to. In the publishing target settings here, only publish change files but it's a great way to make sure that your publishing is a quick and easy operation each time you build and reduces the amount of bandwidth required for the publishing operation. So before I wind up this movie I'll briefly mention localization. If you're localizing your outputs in Document X or Help Studio you'll be building multiple outputs for each build profile, one for each locale, one for the primary locale and then one for each secondary locale. Publishing will automatically handle this by publishing your secondary locale to a subdirectory using the locale ID. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to add a new locale to this project. Uh, I'm going to plump for 
German, I think. And then if we go back into build, I'm going to select both those locales. And I just need to provide the lo the community key for German. Get rid of that. And then I'm just going to go for the Azure target this time to demonstrate. So both of those locales will be, bu will be built and we'll be publishing both of those locales as part of the build process. So the primary locale remains as before the content is published to the root that I specified on the website here. And the secondary locale then is automatically uploaded to a subdirectory using the locale ID. So that makes it quick and easy to publish content even if you're using secondary locales. So that concludes this movie demonstrating the new publishing features we introduced in our 2015.1 release. If you've got any questions or suggestions please do contact us either by email to support at innovacis.com or you can do it directly from the application using the smile, frown or support request commands on the help and support ribbon tab in DocumentX or Help Studio.